OK, Ben, our other big story tonight, no heat, no running water and filthy living conditions. That's how Detroit police say they found seven young children living. In fact, these are the images from inside the house on Livernoy, just off I-75 uh, in southwest Detroit. Jermont Terry live at Children's Hospital, where the children were brought in for observation. Jermont. Devin, the youngest child is 11 months. The oldest is seven years old. Now, when police stormed into that house on Livernoy, they could tell by looking at the children, not to mention the filthy living conditions of that house, that the brothers and sisters needed to see a doctor. This rundown house with broken windows and no gas is where DPD found a family of nine living off Livernoy in southwest Detroit. Uh, there were no utilities, there were no heat, no food, no water. It was, the conditions were, were unlivable. Yet seven children lived like this. There were no beds, no working toilets, feces throughout the house, and even the dead dog. This is the worst that I've ever seen. DPD's narcotics division came here to serve a warrant, but that warrant uncovered something bigger than drugs. At that point, our focus shifted from a narcotic investigation to obviously a, a child welfare investigation. Local four cameras were rolling when EMS carried the children out of the house. The kids were wrapped in blankets, then checked out in an ambulance. Appear to, to, to be glad to see us. Police say the children's mother, seen here carrying the youngest child, who's only 11 months, did not realize she needed help. I don't know how she did. <laughs> That's crazy. Neighbors tell me they had no idea seven children or anyone lived here. I'm glad that they showed up, you know, and help the kids because if not, who knows what would have happened to them. But this isn't about breaking the family up. This is about trying to get them the help uh, that's needed. And tonight it's unclear how long the children survived living in those filthy conditions. But what is clear, they are safe, being checked out by doctors and in the care of Child Protective Services tonight. Reporting live, Jermont Terry, Local 4.